And once again, hello and welcome everyone to Adobe Illustrator Live. Let's take a look at the brand new Puppet Warp tool, which is inside of the new Illustrator CC 2018. All right, I'm going to switch over to my computer so you guys can follow along and see what I'm doing here. I've got Illustrator CC 2018 open, and um, I've got the Libraries panel open, which is where I'm going to grab some of the artwork. I've already gone ahead and created a one artboard document, and I'm going to go ahead and start placing content on that document to use the Puppet Warp tool with. Now, one thing um, you'll, you'll um, have to be aware of, if you're going to place something from a library, a CC library, then it's going to place it linked and you would need to unlink it or go through jump through hoops to try and get it to work with the puppet warp tool so the way to avoid that here let's go ahead and drag cool guy over the way to avoid that is to hold down your option or alt key as you're dragging it over that way you won't get the you can't do this because it's linked how do i know that because i found that out earlier today all right so let's hold down the option or alt key let's drag this library item over I'm still holding down the key as I go ahead and resize this. Let's go ahead and get it in place. And now it's for fair game. Just by holding down the option or alt key, it's no longer linked to that one um, in the um, library. I'm also going to pull over a couple of his friends. Let's go ahead and hold down the option key again. We'll pull over a new character. And these are just vector illustrations I got from Adobe Stock because I cannot draw. Which is another reason why I don't normally stream here. All right, but anyway, let's get some of that. I would imagine the cat's going to be a little smaller. Let's go ahead and get the cat in there as well. Get some nice smart guides going on, and great. So now we've got our three separate elements. And again, these are all vectors. Uh, if you were going to it with a direct selection tool, you would go ahead and see all the um, paths and points that make these objects up. And what's cool about this is if I wanted to bend his arm or bend him at the waist or raise his leg up, that would have been a pain in the butt before because I would have to go manipulate all those paths and points, at, probably add a bunch of new curve points just to make it look right, just to get it to look natural. Now with the Puppet Warp tool, it is so much easier to do this kind of work. And that's one of the, that's one of the reasons I was excited to show it off here. So let's select the guy and we're going we're to do something. Actually, let's go select it with the regular selection tool first. And we're going to do some, uh, a couple of basic things first. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the new Puppet Warp tool. It's right here. It shares the same space as your free transform tool. And it's got a little pin head there, Puppet Warp tool. Now that I've got it, um, you basically use it. If you've ever used it inside of Photoshop, it kind of works the same way. You just click where you want to be able to bend. And that will create this mesh. The mesh, of course, is invisible. Once you're out of the tool, you don't see it. And of course, I can click anywhere else that I want to be able to bend it. Now, if I just do that, I can, of course, go back to that initial point and I can move and move them around and do things. Now, what's kind of cool, this is like Puppet Warp 2.0. Uh, we get this little curvature ability right on the pinpoint as well, which is kind of nice. <laughs> you know, make them dance a little bit. Um, and of course, his legs look kind of unnatural because I didn't give them anywhere to bend. So the more points you put in, the more natural you can make your object look when you're uh, bending it or affecting it. All right, so for example, let's say I add some knees. Now when I bend, go back up to the top, grab a little curvature thing. It bends a little bit more naturally, not much, but a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some more points. And as I add more points now, of course, what I was doing before was bending the whole top of his body. That's no longer the case anymore. Now we kind of give him a little swervy move dance there. You know, you get go from dad bod to regular guy. All right, so depends on where you place the points. That's what's critical about this. So if I wanted to nod his head, I put one right on his face. And of course, now I can nod his head a little bit um, and have him agree with what I'm saying here. He agrees with this and he's an Illustrator user. He loves this. All right, so let's go ahead and just add some more points. And you can add, there's no limit, as many as you want. Um, you might need to zoom in if you want to add them uh, closer to like to objects that are really small and close together. And of course, also when I was bending him, the notebook or whatever he's carrying, that can kind of bend too. So you got to sometimes put down points as anchors instead of points that will bend. So that will also control um, how this is going to work. So now, it's going to be a completely different thing because of the anchors holding that in place. 
So now the only thing that's bending is literally that middle part of his waist. And um, we don't want him to bend that much there. So let's go ahead. And now I also I've just been twirling. Of course, I can pick his arm up. And of course, I'd want to move his fingers with it. So depending on what you want. Here, let's go back to that point for a minute. Let's delete that point. And now I can just freely move his hand around with his fingers going with it. So depending on what you want, this will, you put the pins in to control the look and feel of that. So um, much, much easier than what the way we would have done that before. Like we can make his arm really, really long. Pet the dog. Okay, getting a little carried away there. All right, so what about his friends? We, we can select his friends and add points, or anchor points there as well. So as soon as I deselect the object, the anchor points are still there, but um, they're not visible anymore because he's no longer selected or I'm no longer on that tool. So now I'll go ahead and go to the pen tool or the, um, um, the puppet warp tool again, not the pen tool. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and add some points for his friend here. And I'll put a couple there, there, and there. Okay, so now we get some control points here. So for example, same thing. If I want to like, you know, he's just kind of cool sitting there. Going along with the program. Yep, this is cool. It's okay that you got a cat next to me. I'm okay with that. All right, they're, they're good friends. And of course, you can extend a paw as a way of shaking hands with the new cat and just kind of like maybe even wrap that behind them and be kind of cool there. And then of course, we can wag the tail, the tail wagging the dog in this case, and we can get that just where we want it. So the puppet warp tool is very, very fun and cool to use. All right, let's try it one more time on the cat. For those of you who I know are just now tuning in and saying, what's he doing? I am using the new puppet warp tool, which we've already um, just kind of warped a couple of our characters a little bit. We didn't really warp him too much, but we kind of showed what could be done. We move the paw of the dog back a little bit, and now I'm gonna go ahead and grab that tool again with the cat selected one more time, right on the cat, and again, right on the paws and perhaps on the tail, and perhaps at the base of the tail. And um, we can even do the ears here, I guess. Sure, why not? And we can go ahead and just now maybe twirl those ears out a little bit, or in a little bit, I should say. Undo that last point. Let's click on that one, there we go. <laughs> Having a hard time getting that last one there. There we go. And twirl that one in a bit too. Make the cat look a little bit more sinister, and we only added one paw, one paw pinpoint there, so both paws are moving at the same time. You get the idea. Of course, we can move that tail down, out and down a little bit, even extend it out a little bit. And because this is all vector, um, it will be uh, resolution independent and maintain the quality of it. Pull that in as well. Okay, let's go back to our guy. Select to begin, all the points are still there. And uh, let's see what we can do with him. Let's go ahead and have him nod down a little bit because he's got his friends to look at, which when this was first created, they were not there. And we'll have him step out a little bit, maybe bend the knee a little bit. Sounds like the Game of Thrones, bend the knee. And we're gonna pick up that foot a little bit and just basically putting the points down where we want them to be. Don't go that way, maybe that way. All right. So, pretty cool. Paul Tranny's in the house. Paul normally streams here. What's up, Paul? And let me see if I got any questions here before we go on and out. Yep. Very cool. Amazing. Cool. Glad you guys like it. Great. Nice. Nice. Nice feature. Fun. Very fun. This is why I had to show this. Please undo two or three times. Sure. Undo, undo, undo. All right. There's your undo two or three times. Uh, make the dog move, please. Thought I did that already, but that might be an old comment. It looks, uh, it looks natural. <laughs> okay. All right. So welcome everyone to Adobe Illustrator Monday. Happy Monday and cheers and go check out the new Puppet Warp. It's going to make just even just changing your illustrations, not so much, you know, warping characters, but just being able to add these pinpoints and move them around on your characters is just gonna make life so much better. And I say characters, I mean illustrations, whatever it is. So even if you're drawing something like a flower or whatever, and you need to bend the flower, move it around, do something, 
um, the just the puppet warp just makes all of that now so much easier as opposed to having to mani manipulate the individual points and paths. So with that said, cheers, take care, thanks for watching, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye everybody, take care.